You'll notice another unique thing about the way lean lock putters are designed is that the grip itself is rotated so that the flat edge points at about a 45 degree angle away from the target. That's done very intentionally to help us create a flat area for our thumb and for our lead forearm to lock the shaft. So from this position we talked about where our lead arm is on the inside of the shaft away from the target, we rotate the forearm and simply place that lead thumb right on that flat part of the shaft. Then we wrap the hand around it, but very, very gently. There's almost no pressure and no tension in the left side at all. We're going to create that tension when we swing the right hand in and put the palm basically right up the, the lifeline, the middle of the palm while it's facing the target. It goes right on top of that lead thumb. That pressure point pushes that thumb and the shaft so that it locks the grip toward the target side of our arm. Once we put that palm on top of the lead hand like that, we simply wrap our fingers around it. And again, emphasizing pressure points in the palm and in the forefinger and thumb of the trail hand because that's where most of our touch comes from. So you just put it on there and you kind of pinch it with your thumb and forefinger and now you're in a great position with your grip to hit a putt. Many of you are probably used to using what's known as a reverse overlap grip in putting. I don't recommend that when doing lean lock. I recommend you use whatever grip you normally use when you're hitting full shots. That can be either the interlock gripping method where you lock these fingers in to each other or as I do an overlap grip where the pinky the trail hand rests on top of the knuckles of the lead hand. This is a good position to have your grip when you're hitting with lean lock.